Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video today. I hope you're doing well. So you guys already know the deal. What I need you to do is take your hands, take your fingers. Uh-oh, where's Defton going to tell us to put it today? Take your fingers, get some lotion, make sure they're nice and moist. They've got to be able to swing by each other, you know what I mean? they got to be able to slide in between each other. Because I need you to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this subject. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Like I said before, if you are new here and at any point in the video you believe I deserve it, I would really appreciate a sub. If you do decide to do that, make sure you go ahead and hit that bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, make sure that you're following me on Twitter. Twitter is a really good place to be. <laughs> If you don't have one, make one! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, not really. You should definitely follow me on Twitter. I would really appreciate that. That's the easiest way for you to get notified whenever I post a new video or whenever I go live on Twitch. Also, you should follow me on Twitch. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. Oh me, oh my. Looks like we got a little bit of a situation here. Situation here with Warframe. Ooh. Uh-oh. A forbidden word. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But, nah, seriously, like, there was an annual report issued by Li Yu, which, if you don't know, Li Yu owns, like, a significant portion of DE. They might even own the entire thing at this point. But, they own a significant amount of shares of Digital Extremes. And that means they have a lot of say in what Warframe does. And what DE does. So, they had this annual report for 2019, which was posted somewhat recently. It's like 200 pages. I'm, I'm not gonna go through the entire 200 pages. But what I do wanna highlight is a few things that was stated in here, in particular, about mobile games. <laughs> this thing is like 200 pages. If you wanna read the entire thing, you definitely can. Um, I'm not going to. I am just reading the parts that I believe are the most important for this conversation, um, but you can see it within the first like five or so pages, once you get to page six, uh, they start talking about how mobile games have kind of exploded in 2019. They talk about Call of Duty Mobile having done successful, like really, really successful on mobile, even more successful than regular COD on console, having more players, gaining more revenue. That's what they're looking at. And what I think is funny is in here, <laughs> they mention that they would really like to see that their IPs, in particular their free-to-play IPs, <coughs> Warframe, <coughs> potentially get a mobile port. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me sip my tea real quick. That's, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. On the real, what do you guys think about this? Like, do you think that this is something that would be good for the game? If any of you say yes, I, 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 need, to, I need to hear an explanation because <laughs> who honestly wants a mobile Warframe video game? Who, like, who wants it? I don't think anybody would really want that because that takes away more resources away from DE who are focusing on this game, unless they port it to a completely different studio. But like, even so, I feel like going into the mobile market is so shady. Every single mobile game, every single one has some sort of shady, weird, pay to win business model that makes you feel like you need to buy something in order to do anything, in order to actually make progress. Otherwise, you're just going to be grinding for days and hours and weeks and whatever, and you won't really get anywhere. Oh boy, that kind of sounds like a game that is currently on the market. Anyway, um, so, uh, <laughs> with this game, I don't think that it makes sense for DE to do this, but if Lee Yu is telling them to do this, that they are going to do this, whether they like it or not, they don't really have much of a choice in the matter. So I don't want people to, like, if this were to actually come into fruition, if this were to actually happen, right, I don't want people to blame DE for this because it's not their fault. It, like, honestly, if if Lee Yu says, 
hey, go jump over there. D has to be like, okay, Massa, okay. <laughs> like, that's literally what they have to do. They can't, they literally cannot say no because Li Yu is their biggest shareholder. They literally cannot say no. So, if Li Yu really wants to push this, they're going to push this regardless. Like, it's over. It's it, like, it's done. It's like, they, DE has no say in it, basically. They could be like, no, no, we want to just focus on our game. We want to make sure that we do things the way that we want to do it, whatever. Li Yu, they don't care about all that. They just want the money. They just want the players. They just want the numbers. That's all they care about at the end of the day. And now, seeing this, seeing this actually makes me think about the direction that Warframe has been going the past few years. It's been about two years where I've honest, personally, I've been feeling that the game has been declining. It's been going downhill. It hasn't really been doing as well as it should. And to be honest, I think it's because of Li Yu. If you have a company backing you where all they care about is the numbers, the money, and they don't really care about what players want, even though they say they do. They said it in the statement, by the way. They said that they actually do care about players and, you know, how they engage with the game and they care about what they see and, you know, they, they care about those story quests. They care about the player's experience. If that were the case, then they would have pushed DE to do things that we actually want. Now, I'm not even saying endgame, but I'm saying stuff like, for example, story quests. Where, where were those? Where were those? This, like, like, the entire 2019 year, where were those? They weren't there. They were gone. Poof. Non-existent. Maybe, like, one or two very small cinematics, but that's it. To be honest, at this point, I'm starting to think that Li Yu is the problem. They're the reason D is starting to go under. I think they're starting to realize now their mistake. I think they're starting to realize, okay, um, maybe we shouldn't focus as much on cosmetics because players don't really like that. Seeing how the numbers declined in 2019, um, yeah, we really only, uh, like, posted a f we posted a bunch of new Warframes, so don't, don't get me wrong, but, um, the main problem was we were really only doing cosmetics, uh, yeah, there wasn't really a lot of content that year and they, they try and chalk it up to them working on Empyrean for you know the entirety of 2019 but to be honest uh, I mean yes I, I can understand that they were working on Empyrean but a lot of the core mechanics were already there we already had Arcwing we already had you know ways to transfer between space and land like th those mechanics were already there so like I, I just don't understand why it took them so long to do it but Regardless, regardless, at the end of the day, if Warframe decides to go on mobile, I think that it will be a huge dent in their reputation, in their player base, and in their player loyalty. I think that overall, if they decide to do this, if Lee Yu decides to push this on DE to make this happen, it will not bode well. People are still going to play it, obviously. People are going to play it on mobile because there's a bunch of people that play mobile games. There are a bunch of whales out there that play mobile games, definitely. But, at the end of the day, Warframe's core player base will not be happy. Or at least that's what I think. Guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Do you still play Warframe? If you do, what do you think about this? What would you say in this situation? How would you respond to this? Would you be happy to see a game like Warframe go mobile? Would you be happy to see that? Or do you think that that's kind of cheesy do you think that that's kind of shady do you not appreciate that do you understand that Lian Yu kind of has most of the shares so Warframe can't really do much DE can't really do much or do you think that DE should try and break away somehow let me know what you think I would really I'd really like to know what you think about this whole situation especially now that it's not entirely confirmed but it's just been stated by Li Yu's chairman I mean, honestly, a lot of stuff is just up in the air, but at the end of the day, what if this were to happen? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you did enjoy this conversation, I would really appreciate a sub. Make sure you hit that bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video, 
If you enjoyed today's video topic or conversation, make sure you leave a like. I would really appreciate that. Also, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Twitter is super and super, 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 super important because sometimes YouTube and Twitch are kind of iffy when it comes to their notifications. Twitter is super consistent. Make sure you're following me on Twitter because that's how you know whenever I post a new video or whenever I go live on Twitch or anything like that. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.